For those of you who have not seen Natalie Lovegren's LPAC report from several days ago, the Argentine Congress has passed into law the expropriation of the National Petroleum Company, YPF, from Repsol. As cited by the government, their reasoning was to protect the supply of produced petroleum products from being diminished in order to boost Repsol's speculated profits on oil. This expropriation was met with an outpouring of mass support from the population, whom had been subjected to skyrocketing prices for gas, as well as significant gas shortages. This protection of the population, in the tradition of the founding of the United States, provided the ability for countries to create national institutions for the discovery and development of national resources. This fight against the theft of natural resources, either by companies, as in the form of Repsol and others, or by countries, as in the case of the United Kingdom, represents the fight for national sovereignty. This fight of national sovereignty versus imperial management is an existential question for all mankind. Leading the fight for the protection of the population, the Argentine government's choice of fighting for the sovereignty of the Malvinas is exposing the real face of the British Empire. The only escape that the British government has when confronted by the real issue of national sovereignty is to lie their heads off. Alicia Castro, Argentine ambassador for the UK, confronted William Hague, foreign minister of the UK, on this issue. Can you ask a question, George. please, Ambassador? Yeah. Otherwise, well, you know. saying, seeing that um, uh, United Nations and the international community and a large group of Nobel Prize winners urges both parties, both countries, to assume negotiations in order to find a pacific and permanent resolution, my question is are you ready for dialogue? Are we going to give peace a chance? And my third question is... No, no, that's, no, that's, uh, that's quite enough question. Thank you. No, no, that's enough. Yes, stop. Uh, thank you. And uh, let, me, let me answer that very briefly. Self-determination is a basic political right of the people of the Falkland Islands. And the United Kingdom will always stand by that right. It is very... In front of reality, they pretend to care about the well-being of people and pretend to care about justice. The idea of self-determination came first from stealing by force an area, populating it with people loyal to the UK, and then attempting to legitimize that occupation through pretending to give those people the ability to make a choice as to whom they choose to rule over them. Leaving nothing to chance, the Argentine government sponsored the following advertisement about the Olympics in order to remind the British Empire that they will never give up national sovereignty. This was shown nationally in Argentina hours after Alicia Castro's confrontation with Haig.
As seen in the advertisement, the actor is a leading Argentine athlete who is aiming to compete in the upcoming Olympics being held in London. The wording, in order to compete in London we train on Argentine soil, really struck some nerves with the British, who have been attempting to nullify the argument by confounding people. One attempt is the highly manipulative suggestive lying designed to cause chaos within the ranks of the Argentinians themselves. What follows is a report by Racina Castillo, a reporter for larachista.com. We attended the event of the signing of the nationalization of YPF in the Argentine government house. There we saw a very telling situation while we were with the journalists waiting to go inside. The Argentine journalists were waiting and chatting, and then a British journalist came in and started a conversation. As he is a correspondent, everybody knew and welcomed him, and he automatically started the conversation saying, what do you think about the advertisement that the government just released? And the Argentines answers as, answered as expected. It's great, it's a real blow to the British, it was fantastic, really strong, etc. But the British guy started spreading a lie, saying, did you know the sport person didn't know why he was recording that? He didn't know the purpose, and it's really disrespectful by the side of the government to lie. That simple lie of the British changed the whole conversation and the Argentines started to criticize their own government for their bad ways denouncing the authoritarian and barbaric behavior, saying that it was not necessary to do such a thing when minutes before they were driven by the real national sentiment. After that exchange, the British correspondent separated from them and started a phone call in which he reported the reactions of the Argentines when he changed the subject of the conversation. He said that there were several reactions to the commercial and went on telling somebody the whole conversation he just had. This same method of lying, pretending to care about populations and pretending to care about justice, is being used by Obama and his administration. First, for claiming the right to kill foreign leaders such as Saddam Hussein and Gaddafi, and then claiming the right to determine how other countries are run. There is no self-determination or justice at all in any of this, since these populations are being forced to make the choice as the conqueror sees fit. This is empire. Obama, working as a stooge for the British Empire, enjoying the snuff films recorded of the assassination of foreign leaders, and currently insisting that Iran give up all sovereignty of their own future, is also working towards the wet dream of his British foreign masters, namely having China and Russia as the new targets for subjugation. The British are insisting that China and Russia give up their sovereignty to stop development, kill their own populations, and submit to being looted yet again by the cancerous, lecherous entity known as the British Empire. The time has come to fight. Will the empire continue to dominate the world, killing people for pleasure, removing the very concept of sovereignty in return for the idea of submission? Were the words of Benjamin Franklin not wise when asked what kind of government had been created, a republic, if you can keep it? A republic requires an educated citizenry. Educate yourself on the solutions including the WAPA 21, organize your congressman to dump Obama and implement these solutions. Move yourself so we can move the world.